My Guru Maharaj used to say that if one is inclined to collect money by showing deity, it is better to become a sweeper in the street. It is better to become a sweeper in the street because he is earning his livelihood honest. And this man who is keeping a temple and doing all nonsense simply by showing deity, collecting some money. This class of men, they are most sinful. You cannot do, you cannot take others' money. Uh, you'll be data. Therefore, gradually, because this class of men develop at the present moment, they have become in Vrindavan. There are so many temples. They have make, make, made a business by showing temple, collecting money. This is not the temple means people should come. People should learn the science of God. That is temple. Not that to make a business of temple. Therefore, everything, hey, not only in India, all over the world, the churches also, they have doing it. Now, in Europe and America, so many churches are for sale. We have purchased so many churches because people are no more interested. There is no education. Temple means a spiritual educational center. People should come, they should learn what is spiritual life. What is God? What is my relationship? That is the other way if we simply came. Therefore, two processes should be followed. Pancharatriki Vidhi and Bhagavad Vidhi. Uh, we follow both. Bhagavad Vidhi is the philosophical side of religion. <laughs> and Pancharatriki Vidhi is the worshipping side of temple. How to worship deity, how to dress, how to decorate, how to offer respect. <clears throat> Madhjaji. Manmana bhavo mad bhakta mad jaji. Temple worship is mad jaji. Worshiping the deity. So this is the test. This is the test. So anyone who has fully surrendered to Krishna, he is the greatest Mahatma. So Mahatma Sudurla, it is very fine. Uh, very difficult to find out a Krishna devote. Uh, Jaitanya Mahaprabhu has described that out of many, many human beings, common man, one is Kormi. Kormi. Kormi means honestly working according to the direction of Gvija. Kormi does not mean that a monkey also jumping, that is also karma. No. Kormi means one who is acting according to the direction. Dharma karma. In Bengali, this is a common word. Dharma karma. Karma means dharma. And what is dharma? Dharma means varnasam dharma. Four castes and four orders of spiritual life. Brahman, Kshatri, Vaishya, Shudra, Brahmachari, Griyastha, Manapratya, Sandra. This is the Dharma. This is the division of God. And according to this Dharma, one who is acting, that is called Dharma Karma. That is Dharma Karma. Not that doing anything becomes Karma. Karma means just doing. The Vedas are so hey, that we have come here to enjoy material things. So therefore, there is prescribed duties. The prescribed duty is that you act, you enjoy life. Uh, for example, just like in the Vedas, uh, there everything is there. The, uh, the propensity of sense enjoyment is sex life, eating meat and drinking. This is the propensity. Material life, these are the propensities. Loki Babaya Amisha Maddha Siva Nityasu Jantu Naitatra Chura. Everyone has got natu- natural instinct for sex life, for meat eating and for drink. This is natural instinct. But they are restrained, they are coordinated by the Vedic Indians. Yes, you will have sex life, but you get yourself married. So there are so many paraphernalia. The subject matter is sex life. Everyone knows. Therefore, in Western countries they say legalized prostitution. But actually it is not prostitution. It is regulating the sex life. So be described. Yes, sex life you have, but marriage. And then drinking, yes, drinking you may have by worshipping chandi, Offering him liquor, that is all. Not that you go to the liquor shop and drink. No. Restrict. Similarly, eating meat also, yes, you can eat meat. Just worship God is kindly and have a goat sacrifice 
so many rules and regulations. They, everything is regulated, but they have avoided this. This basic injunction they have avoided. Now they have open slaughterhouse, liquor house, prostitution. And that is sinful. It is actually sinful. Either you do this way or that way. But if you act according to the Vedic injunction, the sinful activities are restrained. The sinful activities are restrained. So that gradually you come to the spiritual platform. This is the Vedic principle. So anyway, one has to become free from the sinful activities, then one can understand. But the easiest method of becoming free from sinful activity is to accept this Krishna consciousness movement. Easiest way. Uh, voluntarily give up. It is not very difficult. If the Europeans, Americans can give up, who are trained up in these activities from their birth, if they can give up, what about India? It is not difficult. Everyone can give up illicit sex life, meat eating, intoxication and gambling. That's all. Oh, this is the restriction of sinful activity. And chant Hare Krishna Mantra. Oh, if these European American boys can chant Hare Krishna Mantra day and night while walking in the street, while going in the car, while in the temple, everywhere, we are going to sell home. What is the difficulty for the Indians? There is no difficulty. But they will not do it. That is the difference. They will not agree to do it. If we simply accept these principles, these four restraining principles, no illicit sex, no gambling, no meat eating, and no intoxication, and chant Hare Krishna Mantra, your life is empty. Uh, this is Krishna consciousness. Uh, anyone can accept it, but they will not.